versus Stephanie Wilson Gothrow, 17 206 186 DM. This is Ms. Wilson Gothrow's motion regarding custody and support. She appears via the Zoom application. Mr. Gothrow appears in person in the courtroom. Will both parties please raise your right hands? Do you solemnly swear or affirm that the testimony you're about to give in this case is the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth? So help you get. Yes. Yes. Hey, you may put your hands down. Yep. Uh, Ms. Wilson Gothrow, can you just get to yep. one spot and have a seat? What's that? I said, can you get, just get to one spot and have a seat? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying. I'm at work right now. Hold on. Okay. It was supposed to be earlier this morning, so I had to try to get something done. Okay, is that better? Yes, appreciate okay. that. Okay. Also, yep. before, I, before I hear your motion, this court has received numerous emails mm -hmm. on behalf of family members regarding this case. Mm -hmm. Court did not read the emails. Now, please don't be upset by that, but those are ex parte communications, which means okay. that I cannot consider that. I can only consider what happens here in the okay. courtroom. Okay. So, get that out there, but this is your motion, Miss. Go ahead. Um, so, there was a default judgment. It was on 10 20 of 23. Um, I was not notified of this hearing whatsoever. Um, I was in the hospital for 29 days. You did an emergency hearing. Um, I believe the same day um, for my daughter that um, got sent with Patrick. Um, he said that I had to uh, sign for whatever, and I did not. It's not possible. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but that was what he has to say. Um, so it's um, I, I'm trying. What my goal is, there's other um, filings, uh, other motions. Uh, are they included? or? Actually, those are scheduled for January 5th, correct, Ms. Schultz? Or am I thinking of another file? Okay. That is the other file, Your Honor. Okay. The, the motions separate are scheduled for today regarding custody. Custody and support. Yep. Yep. So these are your motions, Miss. Yes. Yep. Go ahead. Okay, um, so I just continuing, um, everything completely changed and flipped around. Um, I have one visitation has been, um, I'm not sure how it got changed other than the fact that I was not present due to not knowing. Um, it should not have been, there is no change of circumstances or anything like that. Um, uh, the allegations against me are completely false. I have proof of that as well. Um, I'm concerned for his safety, but I know that he hasn't I had any supervision or anything. Um, it's not it's not safe for him to be there when Patrick's not ever around due to medical stuff. Um, there is underage intoxication. Um, his son sits in a room and has gained seriously about 200 pounds. That is that's a neglect. You said the child gained 200 pounds? Yes, has gained. That is a health risk. Gained 200 pounds. That's what you yes. said. Yes. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Um, so any, anyhow, um, so I'm trying to get everything back how it was. Um, the hearing is contingent to whether we are staying in Huron County or going down to the city, which I announced to him on September the 29th, I think. And then he filed the 23rd while well, I was still gone at the hospital, had no idea whatsoever. Um, there's no communication. Um, I call, text, anything. Um, it's, it, Kaden has to have surgery, like big surgery every six months to rebuild the anatomy uh, of his ear on the inside. I mean, it's serious. Titanium, cadaver bone until his, his growth plates closed. Patrick has already pushed, he, he, due to his own schedule, he was already supposed to have this done and he pushed it back. It's not okay. All right, anything else? I don't, I don't, um, I don't think so. Everything should have been in the paperwork. Sure. Okay. And you said you're working today? Yep. I had, I had this morning, I'm sorry, I had this morning off and then I couldn't, I have to get some stuff done for, I'm contractor. Oh. Yeah, I, I guess I don't understand why you cannot be in the courtroom then if you, if you're, if you work, but. Okay, no, right. um, so I, I can't drive, um, and then it's it's where I'm at. So there's no traveling involved, and there is absolutely a doctor's no. Mr. Godfrey, your response, please. Um, one, Your Honor, um, 
I don't know which one to attack first or after. Um, the one of my eldest 18 year old son gaining 200 pounds. It's lost. He's 18 year olds in sports. He works. He's barely over 200 pounds. Um, the other thing, um, my son's surgery, he had one surgery a while back on his right ear. And there's no more surgeries needed after that surgery. We went to his post-surgery appointment, went for a checkup while Stephanie was in Beaumont Hospital. Um, he has regained hearing in that ear, and his school IEP testing for hearing testing says they show very moderate loss of hearing, which that wasn't a goal when the surgery was. It was just to repair and take care of growth that was in there. The new surgery that was scheduled for this month, we did discuss it at the time of scheduling that surgery because my vacation insurance renews at the first of the year. The surgery is rescheduled to January 29, 2024. Um, the reason I do that is because I provided all the insurances, the expenses, the traveling, the driving, the stay, the food, everything that is needed to accommodate his surgeries. I paid for all of his braces. Um, I've also still paid support to Stephanie for him while they lived with me for four and a half years. Um, it's surprised here she's working. I, she hasn't worked. Uh, she can barely stand while and walk. She fell recently from a seizure and split her head open. She's had the ambulance called three, four times for her medical conditions. Um, when she was staying at her mother's place in Gaysville, um, that's the last place I've known where she's lived. I don't know where she's at now because she has been evicted from there also. She has lived in nine different places in the last six years, Your Honor. She can't mm -hmm. provide a stable home, an income, insurances, or support for these kids that she can't take care of herself. Um, I don't know what else to add to that, Your Honor. All of her allegations are in her um, motion Either fabrications or something that's completely false. Um, they make no sense to me, and some of them I've been reading. Um, other than that, I don't know what else to respond to on, on her deal, Your Honor. All right. Before I go back to Ms. Wilson Gothra, Ms. Schultz, the parties, there's an interim order of joint legal joint physical. Is that correct? That, that is correct. Their original judgment of divorce that entered January 26th of 2015 also grants joint legal and physical custody of the case. And I suspended parenting time, or actually custodial time, back in September or October, I'm sorry. October. And the court ordered a friend of the court ordered a friend of the court recommendation on child support. Mother's parenting time was suspended until further order of the court. Defendant required to file a petition seeking modification of the parenting time suspension. In turn, she filed a motion for custody. What's your feeling about parenting time? I will ask the court to continue the suspension of her parenting time, Your Honor. She has no stable place to live or reside. As I said before, she has been evicted from her mother's. Mm -hmm. It's her time to vacate. Um, there is no civil communication with her when it, if it doesn't go her way, it's hostile communications from her, Your Honor. She has no finances or steady job to support. It feels her, her mental health has went downhill along with her physical health in the last few years, Your Honor. Um, she did have a state a few years back in a mental institution. New um, phase for blood transfusions and health concerns. 
uh, when we were together, Your Honor, we spent multiple times with three, four, five days days in the hospital for their help. Um, I enrolled uh, Kate, uh, Kate in a school. Um, she was not happy to pull him out right away until um, I was custody of him in October. He's doing great in school and thriving. He has uh, professional resources to help him. Stephanie does not want them in any type of public school. Her older son mm -hmm. was removed from her because of the way she takes care of things and doesn't like the public school system. And again, yeah. the parties have joint legal, joint physical. Okay. Ms. Wilson, I'll throw your final comment relative to this. Yes. Do okay. Know, go ahead. Sorry. File, file a motion for custody too, but go ahead. Okay, um, so um, the first thing I would like to address is um, did Mr. Gathrow did not just say that he doesn't need any more surgeries, but he just said that one is scheduled. I would like to just point that out. I have not moved nine times um, in the whole thing with Caden's health. Um, when I announced that we were going down to Beaumont was for his treatment and he was supposed to be enrolled in that school. He was enrolled in an online program, Lighthouse. Um, so none of those things are true. Yes, I did go to a mental institution because I stayed awake um, for too many days. That's not anything that happened. It was natural at the time. Like extreme stress um, from, excuse me, from him abandoning the property. Um, there has been nothing so far with mental health after that. Um, I have regular medical. Um, that was another purpose of going down there, proper treatments. Um, and then this happened. That's why I announced to him that we were moving and going down there and he filed three days later. He had no communication whatsoever that he was enrolling Caden in school and that's fine. Um, I, I know that he is doing good there, absolutely, but he was supposed to be uh, down in the city where there's even more professional help and opportunities um, education-wise. And yes, uh, homeschooling was until um, the, the whole lighthouse thing and then Patrick um, enrolled him in public school with no notification, no conversation whatsoever. I have not moved nine times. I just uh, I have a four and a half bedroom home. Um, I did not just get evicted. That's nonsense. Um, he evicted us on Christmas last year. Um, his own kids. There is there is super mad, super problematic things here. That's not okay. Ms. Schultz, I did not order an investigation on custody. Did I at the previous hearing? We did, we did not order and I, for child support. For child support and and. Clearly, there is a there's a change in circumstance that warrants a review of all the factors relative to custody in this case. That clearly, uh, the education component, the mental health component, the medical component, the education component, all all combined to the court to be a proper change in circumstance, which warrants a front of the court investigation relative to custody in this case. And the court will order that along with parenting time and support. Relative to what we do in the interim at this time, the court is going to order that prior orders remain in effect. Child shall remain with father enrolled in the current school district the child is enrolled in. And I will allow for visitation. And at this point in time, while the matter is pending, how old is the child? 13. 13. I will allow visitation. Uh, I think the best that you don't have transportation, mom. So, what, but you do have obviously a phone available. Yeah, and, so yeah. the and then um, I, I was requesting at least 50 50. Um, it, and he can still go to school. There's, there's multiple ways. Um, I just, it's been a huge change. Other siblings, literally, it's the last thing that Patrick could tear apart. So a 50-50 would be amazing. There's no reason why it shouldn't be. Well, I think there is a reason why. I think there's some serious concerns here. Uh, the, and the court is going to order visitation, not on a 50-50 basis, but the court will allow visitation for four hours on the weekend, whether it be Friday, Saturday, or, or Saturday or Sunday. Every weekend, and that can either be what's the distance between the the parents? Approximately twenty miles. 
Miles? For our visit, either Saturday or Sunday, while this matter is pending, this is an interim order. There are to be no adult topics discussed with the minor child, no negative or derogatory comments relative to either parent in this case. And as I said, prior orders remain in effect. Exactly. So, anything I'm missing? The supervised visitation, I want to inquire, please. I'm not required supervised. Can you say it again? I'm sorry, you cut out. Uh, no, no supervised, just four okay. hours. Nope, thank you. The day and time to be agreed upon by the party. If I agree, then we're going to set a default time. So either Saturday or Sunday, which day is preferable? Either, um, day either, either of them. Uh, and then um, is Patrick required to do the traveling based on the whole no driving thing? Do you have transportation available to you to meet halfway? I don't. Um, I, I'm stuck here for right now. Um, Can you provide yeah. transportation for four hours? I could provide it, Your Honor, but I've still been paying child support for this whole time, Your Honor. Well, that's uh, the friend of the court right now. It is, actually. We we will be ready to issue a support recommendation. However, I want to see what happens with the hearing before the actual set up. Right. So that, that's, that's in the works. That's in the works. So four hours, Saturday. We'll make it Saturday. What time? From what to what? What time are you available, Pat? Time we can do noon to four. Does noon to four work? Perfect. Yes. Anything. Noon to four, starting tomorrow. Diana, can we get a confirmed address of where she is staying? At? Is it uh, the address known at forty nine sixty seven? It's four nine three eight. Your pleading say forty nine sixty seven. Yes. Yep. I obtained a four and a half bedroom home between this time. And then I got my contractor's license as well. Moment. Yeah, friend of the court also has four nine six seven. Right. Okay, thank you. Friend of the court even doesn't does not even have your address either. Okay. Uh, um it should when be. Did you, when did you when did you move into the new home? Um probably two weeks ago. I spent on cleaning it up and doing some jobs. Okay, because on December seventh you had four nine six seven. So it's four nine three eight. Yes, sir. Still the, is it still the same uh, row? Uh, Van Dyke Road, Kindy, Michigan. Okay. 4938 Van Dyke, Kindy, 48445. All right. That's what the court will do in the interim. Okay. Thank you. Off the record.